Welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers, your source for what's happening in and around our campus. I'm your host, Sophia Perola. I have a very special guest with me here today. She is professor of English and is here to talk to us about Brookdale's study abroad trip to Iceland. She is Meg Natter. Hi, Meg. How are you? Hi, Sophia. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. So you are the one who proposed this idea to study abroad to Iceland. Can you start by telling us why Iceland? I, I love Iceland. I started going there in 2013 and I've been four times since. You can see I'm wearing my Icelandic sweater because I'm like an Iceland <laughs> geek <beautiful>. now. <laughs> but uh, I just love it. The, the landscape is beautiful. The people are smart and funny and, um, and they, they love Americans. And, uh, we, and I just love going there and learning more about the history of the place mm -hmm. and, and just the incredible views. I, I can't wait to show students from Brookdale. Wow, that sounds great. So that brings me to my next question. So what would you say the most interesting thing you saw about Iceland was that students will be allowed to see. Well, the cool thing is that I actually created the itinerary, so everything the students are going to see, I've already seen, and uh, it, we're going to start in Reykjavik. You kind of have to start there because that's the happening place. There's <laughs> a we'll stay we'll stay there for two nights. We're also going to visit the Blue Lagoon to kind of shake off the jet lag, and uh, and the Blue Lagoon. I don't know if you know what that is. It's a um, a spa. It's huge and it's it's beautiful and we're definitely going to spend a few hours there but after that we'll head down to the southeast coast and go to some fishing villages. We're going to go on a boat tour of a glacial lagoon and then we're going to head to the north region and we're going to see what's called the Golden Circle. So we're going to see waterfalls, we're going to see geysers, we're going to learn more about the history of the government in, uh, in Iceland because it was started there in the Golden Circle. And then finally we're going to wrap up the trip with the north northwestern edge of the country and uh, we're going to go to a library up there and um, see another fishing village. We're going to go through lava caves. So it's a real outdoorsy trip and uh, yeah, I, I just want to do something that not all Americans get to do there. So we're going to oh. see the countryside and really get out there. It sounds so fun, a it's lot of fun packed things. So there's no doubt that they'll be seeing like a beautiful place and find out a lot about the history, but mm -hmm. what about the educational aspects? What courses are offered for this trip? Well, I'm going to teach English 122, which is research and writing. Uh, Dr. Carl Callender is going to be on the trip also. He's going to teach English 227, which is creative nonfiction, and he's also going to teach English 295, which is called special topics. It's kind of like anything goes. So the students who sign up for that will talk to Dr. Callender about what they'd like to write about, what aspects of Iceland interest them the most, especially, especially environmental students, I think, would love it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's certainly a writing kind of trip. But uh, it's, it's going to have something for everybody. It's going to be a blast. That sounds so interesting. So are you and Carl the only faculty members that accompany students on the trip? Yes, except when I get there, or when we get there, I have some friends who live there. And we're going to have guest speakers along the way. So once I know how many students are taking each course, then I'll be able to figure out who we'll meet with. So, uh, so we are faculty, but we're going to have a lot of interesting people, Icelanders, talk to us and uh, teach us more about the country. So how do the assignments work? Do you tell students about their assignments before they go to the trip so they have time there to do them? Yeah, I'm going to see how it goes. Um, it depends how many students I have. So let's say three students sign up for English 122 and the rest are with Dr. Callender. I'll meet with those students ahead of time. The students actually have to sign up for Summer 1, which begins the middle of May, and it runs through the end of June. So I'll probably meet them before the trip a few times. We might meet as a group. I might meet with them individually. We'll go on the trip. They'll have some assignments to do, but it's not. I don't want them at their computers the mm -hmm. whole time. You know, I mean, the whole trip is to get out there, talk to people, and uh, and do some research. So uh, they definitely have Wi-Fi in Iceland. <laughs> don't worry if anyone you know is worried about that. They can bring their laptops. But I just want them to enjoy the enjoy the trip. And then when we come back, they'll write some papers for me, probably two, and uh, and we'll go from there. And then we'll be done. The end. Uh, I guess the end of June. The trip is from June second to June 9th. Okay, so that. So how long is the actual trip? It's just a week. Oh. Okay. I wish we could go for longer, yeah. but you know, it's 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 cool because Iceland. Everyone thinks Iceland's huge. It's not. It's actually the st about the size of the of Ohio, the state of Ohio. So we can get a lot done in a short amount of time. Oh. So a week a week's good. <laughs> that sounds interesting. It gives students a lot of freedom. Yeah. So we're actually running out of time soon. But can you start by telling us um, how what is the actual price of the trip? Yeah, the, the price is $3,600, but that does include airfare, your course, uh, all the hotels we'll be staying in, all the activities we're doing. So it's, I know it's a lot, especially for mm -hmm. Brookdale students, it's a challenge. There is some financial aid available and scholarships. Okay, so they can use financial aid towards the trip? For the, uh, the portion of the course that's their tuition, yes. But they should talk to the financial aid office here uh, at Brookdale about that. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us here. To find out more, please log on to our website at brookdalecc.edu. I'm Sophia Perola. Until next time. Thank you.